The Paddock to Reef Integrated Monitoring, Modelling and Reporting Program is a collaboration involving governments, industry bodies, regional natural resource management groups, landholders and research organisations. Funded jointly by the Australian and Queensland governments, it takes an innovative approach to collecting and integrating data on agricultural management practices, catchment indicators, catchment loads and the health of the Great Barrier Reef. The program reports progress towards the Reef 2050 Water Quality Improvement Plan targets. Reef Catchments reports on the adoption of improved management practices, collects water quality samples and monitors regional wetlands in Mackay, Whitsunday and Isaac. The Paddock to Reef program identifies the existing range of management practices for soil, nutrients and pesticides on agricultural land, including sugarcane, grazing, horticulture, grains and dairy properties, and measures improvements. Adopting best practice has been shown to reduce the loss of pollutants to the environment and is essential to meet the plan's 2050 outcome. Reef water quality supports the outstanding universal value of the Great Barrier Reef, builds resilience, improves ecosystem health and benefits communities. An example of a sugarcane improvement is the use of a variable rate nitrogen application program which assesses the yield potential of individual zones. This helps optimise nutrient use by matching fertiliser applied with the crop requirement. Various trials are being conducted throughout the Great Barrier Reef catchments on different land uses. To assess the water quality results from differing management practices, the trials compare conventional and or dated management practices to improved or newer management practices. Data from the trials is used to promote improved management practices. Landholders can access grants and extension advice through a number of regionally delivered projects to improve their practices. To get involved, please contact Reef Catchments NRM.